Three, two, one. In three, two, one. They are calling him the Tony Stark of Kitchener, Ontario. On this week's episode of the Rocket Flight Test, we're going to be testing some new heat shielding to keep my legs safe. And we're going to try and figure out how to make rockets shoot off at the same time. So, for the heat shielding, what we've done is we've actually created a multi-layer Kevlar blanket with metal plating on the outside. We're hoping that the metal plating will block the rocket plume enough, it's still going to heat up like crazy, but then the Kevlar welding blanket will be able to withstand that and not burn my legs. So we're going to do a test to see if this can actually hold up against that power. Now, we asked you guys for some uh, opinions on how to launch multiple rockets at the same time, and a few people came up with this idea. And what we're trying to do is all these rockets come with an ejection charge. Normally this goes in the yellow end of the rocket and this will eject the parachute after the rocket's flown up. But what if we put it in the other end with the ignition wire? That way when the ignition wire goes, the whole thing should ignite simultaneously. Because right now, it's actually a pretty big tube in there. So if you stick the ignition wire in there, it might not be touching the wall of the tube, so it might not ignite right away. But we figure if you add some gunpowder in there, it'll work. But we're going to have to test to see. All right, so we have our two rockets here. And we have our ignition wires and some extra gunpowder. Alright, so since we're going to test simultaneous rocket ignition, we're also going to do two heat resistant shield tests. One is the one I already told you about, the, the sheet metal and four layers of Kevlar, and the other is four layers of Kevlar that we're going to get wet and see what happens. Alright, let's see how this works. So we have a thermal camera behind to see how hot the back of the material gets and whether or not it will burn my legs. Once we get that set up, it's go time. Three, two, one. And kids, that's why you don't modify rockets at home. Use them as is or don't use them at all. All right, we're gonna do the test again because we really need to see if these heat shields are going to work. Unmodified rocket. All right, so that did not work out as planned. Um, number one, don't modify model rockets by putting extra gunpowder in them. That is a bad idea. Number two, our heat shield still didn't quite work. The plumes ate right through it, including three layers of aluminum sheet metal. So it might be able to protect against a glancing blow of the rocket, but head on, my legs are toast. On the plus side, we did obtain simultaneous ignition. And how we did that was by bending the ignition wire to make sure it touched the inside of the rocket. That's good, but what are we gonna do about my legs? How are we gonna do this safely? We're going back to the drawing board to try and figure this out, but if you guys have any suggestions, please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. All right, so we've got the uh, rocket holder done with our metal crutch. 